we're going to Barcelona, so I thought I would tell you what's in my bag. This is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, and I've been using it for, I don't know, six months now, maybe more than a year, and I really like it. It looks nice, it's not too big. This is the smaller of the two versions, and it's not perfect. Like, I don't love these side pockets here, which stuff tends to just fall out of it. I wish I had more accessible outside zipper closed pockets for those times when I need to just store something away and get to it quickly, like a battery or an SD card or a passport or something. Okay, here's the exciting thing. I have the Fujifilm GFX 50R, and I haven't had a chance to spend much time with it yet. The reason I borrowed this from Fuji, Chelsea's new camera is the A7R 3 which has always been my favorite camera. <laughs> So I had to find something different. On it, I have the 32 to 64 f4 lens, which is like a 24 to 50 f2.8 lens on a full frame camera. On the backpack, I have the Peak Design clip and that mounts onto here so that I can carry it without a strap and just use my backpack. And this quick release plate goes right onto my tripod. This is the Manfrotto Free tripod. That's been my standard tripod for years. I'm gonna have to stuff this into my carry-on bag. Let's break into this backpack. Attached to this little strap here, I have suntan lotion and my Insta360 camera. This has been such a great little addition because you can just kind of stick it in any room and it'll record 360 and it's really nice for times when you want to film something but you don't want to be distracted with the filming. And on the other side of the backpack, I have the pole that you use to hold it out and then one of these little mini tripods so I can stick this on here and stick it on the ground. This is the Manfrotto mini tripod. In the back of the backpack, I have my MacBook 15 inch, 2018 fully decked out. Yeah, we switched from Mac to PC and it's mixed. It's not great, but we'll make a video about that soon. And then hidden in here I have, these are same old Bose sound noise canceling headphones that I've been using for like a decade. They are fantastic for plane travel. Of course, I have to have dongles because no cell phone nowadays has a proper headphone jack. And for all the people who say, just get some AirPods. Yes, I have AirPods too. That reminds me, I switched from the Google Pixel 3 back to my iPhone X. The biggest reason for that was the integration with the MacBook. It's really easy to be able to airdrop files to and from it, but Everybody that I know is on an iPhone, so things like iMessage and AirDrop just work better. Of course, for some reason, the MacBook can't include an SD card slot, which is a pain, so I have one of these for both my iPhone and the MacBook. USB-C and Lightning, like they also couldn't agree on a port. What a pain. Let's open this up and see what I got inside. This is... A big old Fuji XF medium format lens. This is 110 millimeter F2. So that's like an 85 millimeter F1.4 in full frame terms. I use it for portrait work and generally anytime I need something a little bit longer, like I might be doing some landscapes and telephotos tend to be useful in landscapes. Of course I got the DJI Mavic 2 zoom here. For the longest time I've been traveling with the Parrot and I kind of missed the Parrot because it was smaller and lighter. But the reason I switched to the Mavic 2 zoom was because of the crystal clear reception that it gets. The Parrot's reception was always a little bit dodgy. While this is a much bigger drone, it fits in my bag a little bit easier than the Parrot did because it's not quite as long, and that's just the shape of my bag, so it happens to work a little bit better. The thing I hate most about it is this. This is the power supply that's required to charge the batteries, and I just have to travel with this whole big thing, whereas on the Parrot, I was able to just USB charge the batteries and that was so much easier. This is a pillow that I will use to try to sleep on this red eye. This is a Peak Design strap that I keep in a plastic bag so that it doesn't get tangled up. On the camera, I keep these little clasps on there and that allows me to put the strap on really quickly in case I don't want to wear my whole backpack. This is an awesome universal power adapter that can take just about any type of power source and convert to anything else. So that'll be perfect. And it's got built-in USB chargers for all of our phones. Of course, I've got a USB battery charger in case anybody needs it. Notice this, if you live in a household with teenagers, you have to write messages like this in order to keep your stuff because anything that charges the phone will disappear. This one has built-in chargers for USB-C, micro USB and iPhones. So I don't have to pack any extra cables. 
this is interesting, this is a battery that will charge my MacBook via USB-C because often I wanna do video editing on the plane and the battery just will only last like an hour and a half. This will give my MacBook a full charge. Never used it yet, but I hope it'll work well. And then I have this kind of organizer that somebody sent me for free and it has changed my life. It's changed the way I travel because I just use it to organize all the dozen of different USB cables and other types of charging cables that I need. Look at how organized this is. I used to just have these all kind of crammed in every place, but now I have them all in one place and I just keep extra copies of all my cables in here all the time so that anytime I need to travel, I just grab it and go. That's it. Now let's look at what Chelsea has in her bag. Hey everybody, if you've been following my little Switch adventure, so far you know that my regular shooter was the Nikon D850. I decided I wanted to really give Sony a shot, so I committed to keeping this thing on the shelf for a while, I'm so sorry, and exclusively showed shooting with the Sony for, I didn't really set a time limit, but I wanted to try a number of chat tasks. I did general shooting, I did portraits, you can see those two videos, and now I'm going to try traveling with the A7R III. I'm also gonna try wildlife, but I've got my Manfrotto bag here, a brand new one. Not sponsored by them, just thought this looks good. I have my A7R III packed up. You can already see it's much smaller than the D850, and I have an extra lens here, it's the 24 to 105. This is the 16 to 35. I'm going to Barcelona, Spain, and I'm gonna see if I can make this work long-term, if I'm gonna stick with the Sony. I'm still not sure yet. There are some features that I'm looking forward to with the Sony that I think might be great for travel. For one, it's a little bit smaller. It has USB charging, which means I don't have to bring an extra charger. I'm just bringing an extra battery. I take a lot of pictures of my family, and so far I've really been enjoying the IAF. It just makes taking portraits a little bit easier. Oh, it also has in-body image stabilization. That means I don't have to worry about finding a stabilized lens. That's part of the reason why I can just bring a 24 to 105, even though it isn't the greatest. I got a iMac Pro and I've been editing video using Final Cut and I've been using Lightroom and Photoshop to edit my pictures on the go. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I get like a really sore wrist when I'm editing on a laptop. So I also got this little tiny Wacom Intuos. It's been great. I even just use it around the house. I thought I would just use it for travel, but I love this thing. And then of course I have just some pretty crucial things like I've got a pen, because every time you travel on a plane, everyone needs a pen. Let's see, I've got my Wacom tablet pen, and then I just have some extra cords and things in here. I didn't notice this at first with this bag because it's very subtle, but there's a whole extra compartment where I can put papers, passports, and food. This is crucial. I get super grumpy if I don't have food. So I've always got to have my snacks like a five-year-old. And that's pretty much it. I've got my headphones and I like this little case because I put extra cables and batteries for my noise canceling headphones. Everyone thinks that these are like cheap 80s headphones, but they're actually Super nice, they're Sennheiser, they've got noise canceling, which I love on a plane. Not the sexiest headphones, but they work really well. And then I also have my earbuds, which everybody loves, but I'm actually, like short review, I use them. I like that they're wireless, they hurt my ears, they fall out because my ears are small. They're not that convenient, you have to keep them charged. Like, hate to be a complainer with first world problems, but like, I use them, but I don't think they're the best. I kinda like my 80s ones better. <laughs> and that's it, that's all I'm bringing with me. Tony's bringing the tripod and stuff, so I'm lucky that we're both photographers because he helps me out. Wish us luck, and if you have any suggestions on other things you can't travel without, Please comment down below. Let us know, like if you like this video, and you can subscribe if you'd like to see more like it. Thanks.